Hi guys, it's Lauren here. Welcome to my latest process video for the Hip Kit Club. Now I've been, this is part of the weekly challenge. Now the weekly challenge occurs over in the F Hip Kit Club Facebook group and this week it's going to be a colour challenge. So we've been challenged to use on a layout the colours pink, yellow and orange. Now you're going to have to be a little bit forgiving here with me because my new kits haven't arrived yet and they're full of pink, yellow and orange things. So I've sort of this pinky purpley is sort of what I'm going with. I do end up doing some fussy cutting. Well, sorry, I've already fussy cut some of the pattern paper out, which you saw at the beginning there. And that has some pink flowers in it. And I've also cut out some yellow flowers there to get my pink and yellow um, little component. And as you can see, there is some orange in those little flowers there and you'll see me put a little bit of orange into my layout as it comes together. So that's just me ticking off with you now those that I've done the job properly. <laughs> All right. That uh, little Lindy Stamp Gang Magical, that is an absolutely gorgeous little one and that, as you can see, that's very pink. And I'm going to water that down. I'm going to add some sort of spritzes a bit later on. But as you can see, what I'm doing here is I'm just just playing around I really want to see what that stencil can do for me and as you can see the two different effects when I'm applying um, through the stencil and then pulling color off the stencil and you can see it's sort of a reverse image there so I just wanted to see what I wanted to do in my background and I decided to sort of push that um, push that gorgeous mousse into the stencil and get a really lovely little background going on there now I think I'd be remiss in not sort of acknowledging what's sort of happening in the world at the moment. I don't know about you and I um, and how you're coping. I hope that you're all feeling well and optimistic about the future and what your different governments are putting in place to keep you safe. But I just want to acknowledge that I think there are people in this world that will do really will cope really well with this time and be able to put some strategies in place to look after themselves and get through one day at a time and other people who struggle when it comes to things like this and are feeling really vulnerable. So to those people out there, I want you to proactively take some steps to look after yourself and the people who are coping really well I'd love you to share some of the tips and tricks on what you're doing at home to get you through this tricky time now I know a lot of the countries are all in different different stages of management of this crazy virus here in Australia um, our schools are still operational but we're encouraged to keep our children at home and we're still allowed to go out and do some grocery shopping and the shops are open. We've just got some restrictions on um, restaurants and group gatherings and we're only allowed to get takeaway food and things like that. But I know in other countries such as Italy and Spain, things are... Um, restrictions are really tight and leaving home, um, which is a freedom that we've been blessed to have for such a long time have been um, really restricted so for all you my all that your beautiful people our wonderful scrapbooks bookers all over the world if you've got so if you just want to share some love um, please do it in the comments if you want to share some tips and tricks tricks on how you're getting through um please share them below and if, if you're feeling a bit really vulnerable I want you to just have a look down the down in those comments and reach out to people who have really got some good strategies in place about getting through and try to implement some of those for you. I really wish that I could give you all a big hug because I'm a huggy kind of person um, but I'm going to give you a virtual hug. <laughs> so I'm, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a plus size girl. So I give squishy big cuddles. <laughs> anyway, just let me know. You, you are all on my mind and I feel so blessed to be part of a scrapbooking community where I can touch base with women and crafters all over the world. And I know that we're all being very supportive of each other at this time, but I really want to acknowledge that, that yep, this is happening and, and whatever the journey may be, um, just know that I'm a voice that you can reach out to and, and we can get give some tips and tricks to each other. So, yeah.
But anyway, as you can see, I'm really pressing on with this layout. I've used that pattern paper there to make a border and the white cardstock is just the basil marshmallow which comes in most of our um, cardstock kits. And then I'm just adding, using some of the pocket life cards, I'm layering up so a, like a little double border there and I've got some fussy cut piece florals that I'm, you know, just building my cluster and that gorgeous little piece there is from in the corner is from the noteworthy collection by pink fresh studio um these kits were just jam-packed full of noteworthy and it's such a beautiful quality product uh pink fresh studio always just you know steal my heart so um yeah and then i'm just adding in those things and really building that feature around my photo can anyone recognize who i am who that photo well that's me but who does anyone know who is in that photo with me there there I am blessed is blessed is a word that I describe this lovely gorgeous person I feel so grateful to have her as my friend and a lot of you would know her her name she's known on YouTube as Inky Quill and that's Adele to me there and she I feel blessed because she's one of my close scrappy friends and we get together every now and then for girls weekends and we chat every now and then and we yeah I feel really blessed to know her she has the most wonderful kind spirit and um, when it comes to sharing her passion for paper crafting and uh, sharing her mixed media art skills that she is so generous in doing that. Um, so I encourage you that if you um, want to follow a scrapbooker who's just delightful, who shares not only her craft but lets you have a snippet into her family life and her beautiful babies, pop on over and check out Inky Quill because you won't you won't look back you won't look back she's lovely so when you have a lovely friend like that you've got a scrapbooker and this photo obviously we don't this photo was not taken in black and white but because I knew that I was going to be using lots of colors I thought I would print the photo off in black and white which allows me to use any color that I want in my scrapbooking palette to um to, to create with so black and white is if you've got a photo and it's really busy in color or you're all wearing different colors then I encourage you to print that photo off in black and white and you will be able to mix it with any color palette so there you go there's my layout for this week's color challenge over in the hip click glove facebook group and I hope you like it I hope you can come and have some fun with us that would be really good too take care guys bye <music>